The Zone Coverage Podcast Network. They may be drinkers, Robin, but they're also human beings. Hell yeah, let's get Stinko. This is the Giles and the Goalie Podcast as part of the Zone Coverage Podcast Network. With your hosts, Giles Farrell and Ben Remington. Three, two, one. Uh, welcome to the Giles and the Goalie podcast. I am your host, Giles Farrell. Uh, still very badly needing a haircut. I have to full-on cover it up now. Uh, as always, I am joined by Ben Remington. Hello. Uh I forget. I was going to make some kind of a Russian joke, but I'm just having some kind of a bad Monday, so I, it's over my head now. That's um, and uh, joining us uh, for our Minnesota Wild Jersey Ranking podcast, we are very excited to have Dave Schwartz of Care 11 joining the pod once again. Dave, how's it going? Good, and I'm thrilled to be here, and I'm thrilled to be sporting my um, Bozier Shreveport Mudbugs jersey. This is my this is my prized possession. Um, I actually have two of these. I'm very, very proud of these. They are the most random jersey that I have, <laughs> which I love. Yeah, you uh, you teased us with this yesterday, and you did not uh, disappoint at all. Right. Uh, I uh, I have to go down with the Mighty Ducks jersey. That's my my pride and joy. So I is that a Paul Korea? It is. That's it is. Beauty. Now Ben, you're wearing is that Tretiak? Yes, it is. Ah, got it. The number, yeah. beautiful. The goalie, yeah. that's my shtick. So yeah, know. yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's a that's a good one to have. Um, so yeah, we're doing uh, as we said, we're doing another uh, ranking list this week, uh, and this is more of a visual one. So we've tried to encourage our listeners to check this out on our YouTube channel, and I will yield the floor to Ben to describe how we're going to go about this. Sure. So we've done a couple of top tens already, um, but this one we decided to do the jerseys uh, in wild history. And uh, conveniently enough, if you kind of split it up, uh, you get a little bit uh, ticky tacky like we like to do. Um, There actually has been 10 jerseys in wild history. Um, I know it doesn't exactly feel like that, but uh, just due to the subtle changes that happened when the providers uh, for NHL jerseys changed, uh, there has been enough changes to uh, actually have 10 different jerseys. So um, pretty simple. Uh, I made a list uh, of my top 10 um, counting down. Dave made one of his own and uh, we're going to compare here and uh, Giles is going to throw them up on his screen as, as we come across them um, oh, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll argue vehemently about them I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I, I appreciate that you stretched it out to get to 10 because I'll just say this six and five on my list are almost identical except for one very tiny detail that drives me absolutely bonkers. Yeah, there's there's a couple of jerseys that are very, very similar, but they did make some changes, Yeah, um, and we'll go over those. So anyway, uh, we'll kick it off here. I have, for my 10th wild jersey, uh, a.k.a. the worst wild jersey, um, I actually have the original green jersey as uh, my least favorite. Um, this may be a controversial take, but I just really didn't like how they used Microsoft Paint and took the green from the shoulders of the white and filled in the white and called it a day on that jersey. So um, I just think there was a lot of green there, and um, I just wasn't overall uh, a huge fan of this jersey. Um, it's not terrible, but I just didn't really like how it uh, turned out with all the green. I don't, I don't think Coho made a very good hockey jersey. They didn't make much very good hockey stuff. I didn't like their sticks either. But if I'm correct, those were Cohos, and I'm not a fan. The <laughs> whites were CCM, and, but the, the greens are Cohos, aren't they? Yeah. It's weird. They had two different, two different uh, providers for the home and road uniforms. What, well, a, just bizarre. what a weird that is, that is all one company, though. Coho and CCM were all the hockey company. Ah, I'm not into so, business. Which uh, subsequently got bought by Reebok or Adidas or whichever. <laughs> which is bought by Bauer, yeah. Right. <laughs> so, 
So yeah, I, so that that uh, that's what I got for number ten. Dave, what do you have as your tenth, uh, your tenth favorite wild jersey? This this is going to be controversial. First of all, the the top of my the, the top I guess we'll say bottom half of my list for the ten through five is predominantly white. I'm not a I'm not a white jersey guy. It's just Ooh. not it's not one of my things. Yeah. I just Ooh. I know I'm sorry. Um, my top ten to be honest with you is the current white. I I'm just not I'm not a fan of it. I don't really? like. Yeah, it's it's really not my favorite. Um, I, I think the green around the red is a weird look. I don't like the stripes. Um, the logo's fine. I'm okay with it on the green jersey, which I'll get into later because it's got that kind of cool stripe in the middle of it. Uh -huh. It's just I, I'm just I don't like the way it looks. And there's nothing that I like about that jersey. I don't like the logo on it. And some of the older whites had. A different logo on the front which which made them at least a little passable for me um i'm just not a fan okay what well, different logo on the front is in the bear head was different well they used to, some of the other if i'm oh i'm looking at yours if some of the other white ones didn't have that i have one right here didn't have the bear head on the front some of them had um they had, didn't they say wild there was a different logo or something like that? I don't know. I'm just not a fan of the J. It's because I don't like whites, and I get that. <laughs> I'm just – I don't like the white. I don't like the green on the shoulders. It's not a good – to me, that's not a good look. Okay. And I don't like the stripes on the arms. I'm just not a fan of white or light-colored jerseys. You know, I, I can I can certainly hear that argument. I tend to lean a lot more towards colored jerseys anyway. Ah. Um, okay. So I can I can hear that I don't agree with this particular take, but um, <laughs> uh, I, I can uh, I can agree with with the preferring colors over whites. I, I get it. I get it. I always have too. Um, Giles, I think, is the opposite, aren't you? Actually, I actually have to say kudos to Dave. We're just a few minutes into the show, and you rendered him utterly speechless, which is <laughs> either something that happens at the end of the show, or you must have a, a take that's out there. So I I applaud. It's out there. Um, and I I think the the current whites are they're good. Um, I don't know. I agree with Dave. Like I'm kind of more of a colored jersey type of guy. There oh, are okay. some exceptions to that that rule, like the one sure. that I'm currently wearing. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I, and I think I'd probably have to disagree that this current white is probably one of the better jerseys they've had. But that's can, that's uh, that's we can where I'm more in. as we go on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so anyway, I'll move on uh, to my number nine and uh, the jersey that everyone probably expected to be dead last. And that was the uh, Reebok Edge version of the red jersey. Um, <laughs> well, they they switched to uh, Reebok. They they made a couple of changes. With them and you'll, you'll see the other red jersey soon. Um, but they took the red jersey and they eliminated the tail stripe on it and added that cream shoulder piping that looks terrible. And um, I, I just wasn't a fan. Reebok in general, me and Giles have talked about this at length. Um, the Reebok Edge was kind of a disaster from a jersey design standpoint. They did go on to correct a lot of their mistakes as time went on. Um, but especially that initial launch of the Reebok Edge jerseys, um, they just basically screwed up almost every jersey they got their hands on with, with, with few exceptions. So that's where I'm at on these. I'm laughing because this one's considerably higher on my list. Um, <laughs> My, uh, let's see, I'm getting to my list here. Okay, so my, the edge was 0709. So yeah. I'm going back farther. Mine was white 0307. And I, th I forget who made it then, but 03 to 07. Oh, sure. That was the Reebok. That was the Reebok too? The first Reebok white jersey, yeah. The first Reebok one that I was, I was not a fan of. Um, I did not, uh, I, I have a problem, and this is a little thing, but I guess we're going to break it down like that. I have a problem with the the webbing underneath. I always thought that was kind of weird. Never really sure. understood what it did. Other than that, the the jersey's okay. I'm not a. I, I don't love the. I, I'm. I kind of go back and forth. Sometimes I love the font. Sometimes I hate the font. For certain numbers, I like it. Uh, I have one of my own, so I actually am a fan of the jersey. Yeah, I saw that uh, on the news tonight. It was given to me, so that's fair. I did. <laughs> sure. I got through the wild fantasy <laughs> that, camp one year, so that helps. Uh, Actually, in 07, so this was the, this was the um, I believe the, the one that I have is the first year of the newer Reebok jerseys, the, one that, okay. the ones that came out in, um, in 07, if I'm remembering. Nope, I'm sorry, I'm wrong. The 03, so I have the last one from the 03, 07. Right, right. 
Um, but I didn't, they, they were okay to me. I didn't mind them that much, but you know, again, I always take off points cause, cause they're white Jersey. So <laughs> yeah, the big change when they went to Reebok, uh, was they changed the shoulder patch. Um, or sorry, that was a little, a little bit later. That was Oh nine. But when they, they changed your shoulder patch, um, it wasn't the circle logo anymore. It was, uh, just, it just said Minnesota wild and like this weird, uh, badgy type look. Um, it's not showing on there either, huh? I'm getting it. Yeah, there, there it is. is. There it is. Yeah. So yeah, that was the uh, that was my beef with the Reebok Edge ones. That shoulder patch was just kind of weird. Not the original one was great by any means, um, but you know it was just kind of a weird shoulder patch logo to make the change to. Especially like, why did you need to change that? Um, I never understood that. Pulling up the logos here. Oh, Detroit. <laughs> Definitely don't want Detroit. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, there it is. This was just weird. It yeah, I mean, it, it's not bad, but it's just like, why did you need to do that? I don't understand. Um, I don't know. Uh, above my pay grade. So yeah. um, anyway, the oh, uh, <laughs> and transitioning nicely uh, for me, the number eight jersey on the list for me was the first red jersey um, before the Reebok Edge, which I do like more than the Reebok Edge version, obviously. Um, cause it had that tail stripe and it didn't have that nasty shoulder piping. Um, but you know, these were jerseys that I liked when they came out a lot. They had an old school look that was kind of a new thing in the NHL and went on to be copied and bastardized to the nth degree. Um, but they didn't age well and, and people really got sick of them. And, and I'll be honest, the, the, the kind of the swell of, uh, of negativity around them from the fans probably, uh, notches them down a couple of spots on, on my ranking, um, because I didn't mind them as much when they first came out because uh, they were a nice old school look, but they definitely just didn't age well. All right. You know what? <laughs> I didn't think this would happen. Uh, we're in complete agreement. That was my eight, two, my number eight too. Wow. Okay. Uh, the, the red 03 to 07 for, for a number of reasons. One, I, I find it hard to believe that you can make them look worse, but they really look horrible laying out like that. <laughs> um, and, and the problem with that lettering over time, as it ages, it gets more manila. And it yeah. just looks really weird with that red and green. And then, and this will be a common theme, the laces. I hate the laces. I cannot really? stand the tie laces. They always have driven me nuts from when I played or, or when I wear them now because I don't ever know what to do with them. Do you just <laughs> tie them? Do you do a regular tie and loop them? I don't mm -hmm. know. They drive me crazy. And I can only imagine as a player how much it would drive me nuts every time there's a change in elevation of whatever I'm doing that these come fly up in your face. You know what I think I did on a couple of my wild jerseys that had laces um, is I bar laced them, which I saw the yeah. players did a lot. Yeah. I bar laced them and tucked them in. So I think that would kind of alleviate that problem of the, the, the bunny ears whipping you in the chin 90 times a game as you're talking about. Well, there goes my argument. I still don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> no, and, that, and that's fair. I, I, I happen to like the laces. Um, yeah. I, I think in small I like them bar laced. I'm okay with them that way, but yeah, I think in small doses. But I, I'm, I'm kind of you know, it, it is a little bit gimmicky too. Um, all right, so moving on, uh, number seven, I have the the edge white. Um, Wait, Giles, we didn't get your number eight. Well, he's not. He's didn't make a list. Ben oh. and I are Ben and I are pretty much in agreement gotcha. when it comes to wild jerseys. So his list is our list. Sure, like our <laughs> ice. He's just here to roast my list, basically. Very is, perfect. Is how it works. Um, so I have the the Edge White, the one that we talked about, where they changed the shoulder logo inexplicably. Um, and also the collar to that one was weird. It like came down into like a – it came to a point almost. Yeah. And that's where the NHL logo was. And I always thought that that looked like hell. I just – I really didn't like how that looked. Um, but, you know, that maybe that was just me. See, I don't, and I'll, I guess we'll get into this more later, but I'll go there now. I kind of like, as far as neckline wise, I thought those, those edge ones, the Reeboks were cool with the gold and the red. And I'm, I'm looking at mine right now. And I just think it really looks kind of cool. Vintage. It, it's out there. It's very um, uh, Phoenix Coyotes, their first couple of years, kind of weird pattern, which I was, which I kind of sure. think those jerseys are fun too. Yeah. Um, but they're, but I, I mean, I, I can see what you're saying too. I, I think this was one of the first two. The edge were the ones 
that had more of a they, they kind of tapered a yeah. little bit they, so i and i always thought that was kind of cool which i, I like that better straight around I probably would have liked this color a lot more if they wouldn't, if the NHL logo didn't become like the tip of it. Yeah. I, I just thought that looked kind of forced and, and, you know, like they, they did a good job of putting the NHL logo in the, in the collar of a lot of jerseys, but the, this placement just made it look that much worse. Like made it look that much more obvious that they had to put the NHL crest there instead of, you know, I mean, they know they had to, but instead of wanting to, which, which yeah. um, bothered me, I guess. I, to me, that collar just looks too much like, back when baseball players wore like suit coats, basically like, like polo shirts. And it just looks a little bit too formal. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe that's my beef. I can see it. that. I'll um, say this and, and, and about all these jerseys. And it's something that's always bothered me because I'm a, I'm a throwback guy. And I, I loved it with Gretzky. I always thought it was kind of cool. I miss when they used to put the CCM and the NHL at the bottom of the Jersey. Yeah. Yes. You knew that it was the real deal. And if you were yep. a Gretzky fan, like I was, and you wanted a real Jersey, you knew he had to have his, they especially made his with them on both sides because the Jersey, the, the CCM and the NHL patch was always on the right side, I think. Yep. And, and he Gretzky tucked always tucked in his right side. So they uh, smartly enough, they said, no way, we're not having the greatest player in the game, <laughs> tuck our logo in. So we're going to put one on the, so a real Gretzky Jersey, if you ever want, if you ever want to buy like an authentic real one that he wore, you know, it's his, because it has the double CCMs on it. Huh. On both sides. But I, I, total tangent, but I always thought that was, um, I always thought that was really cool. And I miss the CCM or obviously, or whatever it is in the NHL logo on the bottom. Yeah. I actually never knew that. That's yeah, good to know for when I open up the purse strings for a Gretzky <laughs> jersey. <laughs> yeah. The, the, it wasn't all of his, but I'm fairly certain they did it pretty quickly in Edmonton they realized that and I'm, I know they did it by the time he got to LA uh, mm. because he, he was such a big draw that it was ridiculous not to have at the CCM and maybe that's why all these jerseys now have them on the back of the neck because they got tired of them being um, moved out of the way but yeah um, right. I had at seven uh, the original green and I think you I had that 110 list because it's green but for all the same reasons I, yeah. I don't like it so um you know the patch but this one does still have the nhl patch at the bottom too yeah so maybe yep. i should have put it higher but still i um i it just the whole whole thing about that yeah that it's just kind of an odd looking jersey there it is it yeah just, it just yeah. weird in the, and then there's the underarm stuff that i wasn't a big fan of <laughs> yeah the mesh mm -hmm. um yeah it just it just lacks so much like creativity for me like not that you had to make the shoulders of it white or even red, which probably would have looked even worse. Um, but it just, it was so much green. It, it almost looked like a practice jersey at times. Like, it was just a lot. So and It's interesting, and I wasn't here around this time, but I feel like if, if I was a North Stars fan, you lose them? Mm, maybe. Probably. Hey, Dave. Oh Am I back? Yeah, yeah. you're back. Sorry. That's right. It said my connection was there. I said, I, I, I was talking about how I, I when I, I wasn't here when the North Stars left, but, you know, when the Wild came in and they go with the, you know, a different shade of green. And I don't, I don't know what the right answer is, but I feel like it, it was more of just a cheap take on trying to keep uh, those colors as opposed to just going in a different direction with a new franchise. You know, and, and it, you got a new franchise, so why not just just go with it? Or or if you're going to continue, and they couldn't because although Dallas changed their green, why not just stick with the green and yellow again and come up with a new logo? Yeah, yeah, I think there was. Uh, I think the the group think that wound us up with the wild name. I think that's where the green comes in. Um, yeah. I don't. Yeah, I mean it. Uh, it certainly fits the name. I guess is is probably what they were going for. Um, the red, not as much. So I don't know, you know, I mean, there's not a whole lot of, I know they call it iron range red, but it's like, yeah, well, yeah. that's, it's not really the wilderness. That's, that's a giant pit in Hibbing. Like that's a little different than, you know, the forest where you're going to find said animal, <laughs> uh, whatever animal it is. So it's, uh, you're going to find an animal in the, in the pits, but it's totally a different animal. So, um, anyway, 
uh, we can move on. Uh, number <laughs> the red six. when the animal tears into you. Is that what the red comes from? <laughs> yeah, that there too. Yeah. <laughs> I've, uh, yeah, I've, I've got some relatives in the iron range and they are animals, but it's just a totally different kind of animal. So. <laughs> Somebody put uh, the red in there after they watched the movie Predator. Yeah, exactly. It does look like it looks like a <laughs> yeah, the way the letters go too. <laughs> uh my number six jersey, uh Giles he just had it up, the original white jersey. Um and I don't think this is a bad jersey. Um I, I'm not a big fan of the jagged scary numbers. Um it was kind of gimmicky for me. I think I mean it it worked for what they wanted to go for, but I don't know. I, I just I wasn't a huge fan of them and I'm fine with different number fonts, but this one was just, it was so nineties, you know, <laughs> and uh, you know, the team, the team started in 2000 and was just kind of clinging to that whole uh, scary predatory animal theme uh, that was, that was pretty thick in the mid to late nineties. So that's kind of what knocks them down on my list. See, I, I feel like, and I, and I think, cause I remember when I got my first, this, this white wild Jersey, which I believe was, um, the the la the first year of the Reebok, and I remember looking at the lettering and thinking, oh, that's terrible. That that's like that's just hideous. Yeah. But it, the farther we get from it, the cooler I think it is because yeah. it was just so out there and different that it's like you know like every year away I used to never wear the white one and now all of a sudden like it's my favorite jersey, <laughs> you know that I own. So um, are we up to number six? Oh, we're losing you. No, oh, not again. Did you lose me again? Oh, where are you? there you go. Where, what'd you say? Sorry. I said, are we up to, am I at six on my list? Yes. Okay. So I'm going back to back greens. Uh, I, I just didn't like either one of these. I'm going to go green uh, with, from 03 to 07. Um, it, it, sure. It's mostly the same jersey, I think, but they added, um, 03 to 07, what did they do different for? I'm trying to, re I'm trying to remember all my thought process here. I think they add, did they add anything or is it, it just no, switched no. jerseys? Maybe I just don't like it because it's the same dang jersey. And they didn't do anything to it. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the same one um, as the original. Yeah. It might have changed brands, but the design of it didn't change at yeah, all. Yeah, I well, just, as as I, can tell. I, I think maybe that was a throwaway one. I, I still, don't, I'm still not a fan of the way it was. Sure. New Year, same old stuff. You know, and the, the what we have on screen, I don't think it does justice to these numbers and how yeah. they looked on TV. It feels like they were a lot darker on TV, so it was really hard to like pick up the number of the player that had the puck. Oh, I, it's probably that was probably a disaster to probably see on television, especially yeah. the lettering of the name plates. It's so tight together. Yeah, I can barely see Gabrick, and I'm looking at it right here. Not that I mean they know what ten is, but I bet that was difficult. All right. Yeah, it was like uh, Impact Bold or something that they used for the <laughs> font. It's like, why would you ever use that for anybody who wants to be identified? And you can tell that they knew it was a mistake because right, right as we're looking at it right now, they came up with the red jerseys and went a completely different direction with the yeah. fonts on the name and the numbers and, and just didn't get around to changing the, the greens and the whites because they probably knew they were going to change them eventually anyway, which they did. So. Alrighty, um, so on to number five, this is where the jerseys start to get better. Uh, I think you can start calling them maybe objectively good, um, and this one won't be on here, Giles. Number five, I have the Stadium Series jersey, uh, the jersey featured behind you. Um, oh, there it is. Um, I thought this was a pretty solid jersey. Uh, it was different, um, but it wasn't out there. Um, the, the comically large TV numbers, we understand that you know, the game was played at a football stadium. You're going to have to have comically large TV numbers. Um, but I think it was a decent jersey. It wasn't great, but I think it was a decent jersey, um, all things considered. Um, I won't give it away, but this is higher on my list. Sure. <laughs> um, I, I actually, and, and sadly, I just, I, I just donated my stadium series jersey to charity oh. uh, because it didn't have a number on it anyway. It was, it was something that they gave to us, and I – the wild had a charity thing. And I said, well, that's fine. Just get me one from this year's winter classic and we'll call it even. Um, <laughs> but I, I did like this Jersey. I, I won't give away where it is, but I, I did like this one. Um, my, let's see, number five I have on my list. I have the 13 to 17. So the most recent reds, I believe before the, the second to last. Uh, yeah. yeah. The last red. the yeah. So 
I, I the, for me, the big difference, I, I thought, first of all, um, I'm trying to see, I'm going back through all my notes here. Um, from 10 to 13, the big change that I saw was the strings. So they, okay. either they're not there or they just put them in differently, but they're no longer hanging. Yeah. They're just, they bar in there. Them. Yeah. And I, I was a big fan of that. Um, I just think it's a clean look. I, I think we get away from the crazy numbers at this point. The jersey looks clean. There's not, it, it just looks, the red good, leans into the red, just a little bit of green on the arms, and that's it. I, I'm not a big fan of total contrast. Maybe that's why I didn't like the whites total contrast shoulder to regular jersey i just think that one lay <laughs> dave no did you lose me again no just for a second there i'm sorry i'm in my uh, my internet's now that you think i had better internet <laughs> no i i think valid points on the red i again i didn't hate i mean this version i didn't like as much as the original because I didn't like the shoulder piping. Um, I, I, that was kind of like a Reebok edge thing. They did mm -hmm. a lot of piping um, for whatever reason. Like they threw piping in every jersey they possibly could. And this one wasn't as bad. At least they didn't have the piping like going up the ribs like some unfortunate teams got stuck with. <laughs> um, but uh, I, yeah, I just, I, I actually own one of these jerseys and I'm still not really a huge fan of it. It was, it was uh, ninth on my list, so. I have one too. Uh, it's not my all-time favorite, but it's it's progressing towards the better in my mind. Sure. Yeah, I always kind of wonder what you know, and this will be a sentiment I share later. But just if you get rid of the piping, I probably think a lot better of these. Mm. Mm. That's fair. All right. Uh, so number four for me. Uh, is the current green jersey, the Adidas relaunch uh, green jersey. Um, I think they did a good job. Uh, we were excited to get a new jersey for the Wild when Adidas took over. Um, I think that the, 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 the bar stripe across the, the middle is um, interesting. I think that it, it, it kind of breaks up the logo. Obviously, it keeps it from being too green like the original greens were, which is kind of nice. Um, I like that it's the template of the white jersey as far as the, the arm stripes go. The one random red stripe there looks a little bit off, but I think at the same time they did want to include red in this jersey more than just in the logo. So that's just kind of where it ended up, and it was a convenient place to put it. Um, but I, I think these are decent jerseys. There's some folks that really like them. There's some folks that aren't crazy about them. Um, I think the M shoulder patch is really good, um, but, you know, pretty good for me. I'm a fan. The yeah. thing that I fell in love with about these jerseys, again, so random that only like real jersey nuts can can appreciate, the cream piping right around the bottom. I just think that's such a yeah. cool look because it separates the jersey from the pads, so you don't look or from the pants, so you don't necessarily look like one giant green blob. <laughs> uh, so I'm a big fan of that. My number four jersey is the one that I own that I have. It's that I you saw tonight on Care Eleven News at uh, six, and you'll see again at ten. Uh, is my uh, 0709 white jersey and it's it's just it's again like I said before I at the first I got it I wasn't a big fan but the more I wore it the cooler it was and I'm, I just I would be totally okay for a season if they brought back an alternate jersey where they brought back those numbers again just one more time I, I love the green and red and the white along the bottom I love this I, the thing I like about the green stripe across the top is that it's continuous. So it doesn't yeah. necessarily, so it gives you one kind of cool contrast to the rest of the Jersey. Um, and I just, those numbers grow on me. The more I saw them, the more I was with them, uh, the farther they went away, the more I loved them. And I, <laughs> I would I'd be totally okay if they brought them back for one more, uh, one more season. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. Dave. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you don't know what you got till it's gone. Um, That's right. Come back crazy numbers. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, I'm, they're doing a throwback jersey program, apparently, and yeah. uh, this very much will not be a part of it. Instead, it's going to be uh, North Star colors for the throwback jerseys for the Wild, which uh, Giles and I have, have kind of come out against. Uh, it's kind of like stalking your ex on Instagram. <laughs> yep. Um, and, and so we're not fans of it in that kind of regard, Dave. Well, how do you feel about that as Wild jersey, Wild wearing North Star colors? <sighs> 
there's two schools of thought, right? I mean, it's like, do you go back to what you love and what you think is really neat, like the crazy jagged numbers, or do you completely abandon? I mean, they've been here, the, the wild have been around for 20 years now, you know, maybe, right. maybe at this point, it's time to say, okay, we've been here long enough. We don't have to still go back to, you know, that kid in high school that we were when we were the Minnesota North Stars and we've now <laughs> graduated to our own thing. So uh, I, I will admit when I saw it was maybe two years ago when they wore the North Stars uniforms um, in, in, in this, uh, at the X, because I saw Parisi wearing- Oh, for warmups, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that was really cool. But it just, the other part of it that I'm okay with at this point is that the Dallas Stars look so nothing like what the Minnesota North Stars jerseys look like sure. anymore. They're completely in another direction. So, so it really does feel like that history still belongs to us so that it is okay to go there. So I guess I'm ambivalent to it. I, I'm really, really interested to see. Uh, and if I, I, maybe I've missed them. I have not seen what the state, what the um, jerseys are going to look like for the winter classic yet. No, they haven't released those yet. Very interesting. Probably be a while, I would assume. I would um, assume, yeah. And and the same thing with the the old school jerseys, as we've been told about. Russo uh, meant, said they're going to happen, and they are going to be North Star yeah. colored. But uh, obviously, no no prototype uh, has been seen just yet. So it's Too such long. a dicey subject. You're 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 going to get people who love it and people who you know think, how dare you go back to those days because they're gone and they left us and Norm Green sucks and blah blah blah. <laughs> right. I mean. Which, there's a couple thoughts. Like one, like I just kind of wonder if the Wild are just trying to phase back into becoming the North Stars again, and just seeing if anyone else notices. <laughs> um, and then on the the Winter Classic now, with the season possibly not starting until December, is there even going to be a Winter Classic? That's a that's a giant question that sits in my head now. That would be the worst Minnesota thing ever. They they would. <laughs> I at least hope that they would do the right thing and award Minnesota the Winter Classic the next year. Um, but you just never know what old Gary La has up. To, I'm not a Gary Bettman fan. If you follow me on Twitter, you know I'm not a Bettman fan. <laughs> Who um, is? I don't. Well, the owners, <laughs> they all love him, I'm sure, because uh, they keep making yeah. their pockets fat. Yeah. Anyway, oh, I can't even talk. I can't even think. I was so excited when I heard it was coming here. Yeah. I, I, I don't think that it's in jeopardy. If, if they plan on starting the season in December – and they've said they want to play all 82 games December, and, and they'll end the season a little bit later. So it would be December through May. I don't see why they can't do a Winter Classic. Now, All-Star Game, that's a different story because you got to right. take a bunch of days off for that. You and take that out, sure. in 82 games into, you know, a month shorter season. But I don't see why you can't have the Winter Classic in a, in a condensed season like that. I just don't, I don't – I don't know why they would need to cancel that if well, games yeah. do and start in December. And let's not forget that is it that that usually does get pretty good ratings, believe it or not. Yeah. On NBC, thank you. Uh, we um, we do love that game, and it it does well considering it's going up against a number of college football games that right. day. So I, it it makes money and as long and especially it being here, I mean, th this is such a big market for the NHL. If you look at the Stanley Cup ratings, even even if Minnesota's not in it, we're almost always. Yeah, they're always top five-ish, yeah. top six, seven, something like that. I think that's what Dave was trying to say. They're they're always up there. Yeah. Need to call Comcast for Dave. <laughs> well, well, oh, oh, is he back? Hey, Hi, he's back. sorry. It's all right. I uh. uh I finished your thought. I think you were going for the, the Twin Cities are always in like the top five or seven-ish area yeah. of the NHL playoff ratings. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Correct, which makes me believe it's going gonna, it's gonna to be here. Right. Um, so. All right, so on to number three for me, the third best jersey in Wild history. Um, and this is maybe controversial because it's probably tops on a lot of lists. I have the green alternate jersey um for the minnesota wild um from there from 10 to 17 or actually 9 to 17 um tremendous jersey i i, re I really like it and i think that um it was a great design and and uh it omitted almost all the red which was maybe a good thing and and maybe something they can look at to the future but that's just me um 
and, and some people have knocked the logo for being a little bit too simple or being baseballish, but I think it worked. I, I think it worked as an old schoolish type logo. Um, I think there's a lot of hockey teams, especially back in the day when logos were a lot simpler and not designed for thousands of dollars that looked like that. And so that's why I think it works. I had my list messed up here. Hang on. I got the wrong one up there because I'm looking at my number and I'm going, wait, that's not right. Um, I actually had the same one The I had green, the green from um, 2019 to 2010. Oh, see so the, the new like one. 2009, excuse me, 2009 to 2010. Oh yeah. yeah. That was the, the alternate. Yep. Yeah, I like that one a lot uh, for, for the same reasons you did, not the least of which is it got rid of that. Um, I, I was never a big fan of the plain bear logo. I really love that Minnesota logo across the middle. I just think that's that's really cool. Uh, I'm a big fan of that. The laces obviously are going the way I don't like them, but that's, <laughs> I got to get over that. So You can learn to live with them. Yes, absolutely. Uh, this is probably number one on my list, even though I, again, always ask a what if, if there's no shoulder piping, and if you just take MS Paint and cover it up, then it just, it makes it that much better for me, and something to be said about not having shoulder patches on a uniform in this day and age, which yeah. I think is a good old look. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it, it, you know, if you do get rid of the shoulder piping, it, it, it goes to a really simple-ish look. But that's not a bad thing. It goes to almost like a, you know, Red Wings or yep. Current Lightning or, uh, you know, that, that level of simplicity that, that I think looks really good. I think, I think that that kind of stuff does really well in the NHL because um, there's a lot of clutter out there with a lot of jerseys and a lot of sports. And, and um, clean looks are, are where it's at. Yeah, I, I'm I'm a fan. I, I'm I'm with you guys on that. I do like this one quite a bit. All right, so my number two jersey, um, and and hopefully uh, Dave isn't too disgusted with me. The number two jerseys are current white jersey. Um, current white. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I I really do like the white jerseys. Um, this one was a little bit different than the when they redesigned the white the last time because the collar changed. They got rid of, or they made the tie like a weird plasticky type thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and so it wasn't actually laces anymore, which, you know, I'm sure Dave loves, but. Uh, I did that's, love that's, that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 didn't, I didn't like the the Adidas. That, that was the one knock. I think Adidas did a phenomenal job when they took over, um, simplifying a lot of jerseys. Mm-hmm. But the collars on a lot of them did look really weird. Um, the Wild didn't get hit as hard as some teams. Like, I remember the Blackhawks looked like they were wearing bibs for a while there. Um, but yes. uh, the, the, the collars were a little bit weird and a little bit clunky. Um, they have fixed a few of them, but uh, I think this white jersey, like I said before, clean is, is really where it's at for me. And, and, and you know, Giles mostly agrees with that. It just, it's, it's a really clean look. Uh, I, I really like what they did at making it simple. It does have, you know, the shoulder yoke on it, but I think that it's, it's not too crazy to where it, you can say that it's really cluttered up or, or really looks terrible because you know the North Stars had a lot of shoulder yokes on their jerseys too, and and a lot of those turned out just fine. So um, I'm I'm a big fan of the current whites. I will I will say this that I what and I do like the I also have an Adidas jersey at at number two. I I my number two is the current green ones, mm-hmm. which I think are 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 just absolutely awesome. Everything from again I love the cream around the bottom that breaks up the jersey. I, I think the the bar across the middle makes that giant bear logo palatable. I loved the the red, the kind of the red accent in the NHL logo right there. And I like the M on the sleeves. I, I think yeah. that's really, the only thing that could make this better would be is if they made the numbers, the crazy numbering again. <laughs> um, I also thought kind of, and, and to one of the things I, I love about the white ones, even though it was higher on my list, one of the things I do like about it is the, the lettering, the writing on the inside. I believe that I believe there is writing or some sort on the inside of the collar. Yeah, Gels has one there. Yeah. Is there something in the state of hockey, I believe? Is that what it says? It doesn't say anything. I don't think the green one has it. I think only the white one has it. Oh, yes, it does. You are correct, sir. Okay. That was a big thing. Yeah. Okay. See, I always thought, I mean, it's really small. You don't ever see it, but it's little things like that that they take yeah. the time to do, I think is kind of neat. They did that. That was another thing that Adidas did. Um, 
I think the reason why their collars were so big and clunky is they, they did a lot of that inside the collar stuff. Um, that's a trend that comes from college football, I think. Mm -hmm. um, I know a lot of teams had like their city flag on the inside collar or some kind of slogan like that. I'm, I'm absolutely blown away. It doesn't say the state of hockey. Um, it says Minnesota, but uh, don't give them ideas. I know, well, I know, be, right? That we, may be trademark too. Actually, I, that that may be trademark. I don't know. They may have. To... Well, it's trademarked by them. I would Is say. it? Yeah. Well, yeah, we know that because they, so. they 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 sued. Uh, uh, well, not sued, but they gave a cease and desist oh, letter to a, yeah to a blog that that yes. we're uh, we're aware of, unfortunately, and uh, they had to change their name because they can't use the state of hockey. So. So no, they could have put that. I don't know why they yeah. haven't. Um, so then getting on to the top, uh, again, disappointment for Dave. My top jersey is the white jersey after the redesign under Reebok. Um, I like it just slightly better than the new one just because that collar, like I said, uh, the collar, I, I do actually like the laces being real laces and not being um, kind of like rubber inserts that, they, that Adidas went with. I just thought the, the, yeah, the, the way they had the laces and then the backdrop was that red tab where the uh, NHL logo was. I just think that was a little bit better of a look. It's it's very minute difference, obviously. Um, but again, love these white jerseys. They're so clean. They're so, um, you know, they're, they're just kind of free of, of a lot of clutter. And, and I really liked what they did with that. I wonder, I'm, I'm looking at them and wondering how if I would have liked them better if they'd taken the stripes off the arms and put a bar behind. But then we would have had two bars. So that may have been too much or maybe a different look. Um, my my favorite of all time um, was the Stadium Series jersey. Oh, yeah. And, and, and for me, it, it just blew me away because I really wasn't sure what they were going to come up with. There was so many rumors about were they going to go North Stars, green and yellow. And I just – this was so it, – it's – the scheme is great. It's simple, but it's not simple. I mean, you know, it, it's it's got a very clean look, and I just – I love the way the whole thing lays out. I love the big numbers. I, I think that's really neat. I love the logo sitting by itself in the center. And I think the green and white, or the white and red stripes are just, it, it's just a perfect accent. And then I've talked about kind of the piping along the bottom, which I really mm -hmm. like. Um, and, and no laces, so you go right to the NHL jersey. I was a huge, huge fan of this one. I'm really now wondering why I just gave mine away, but I'm happy that it goes to charity. Um, but uh, it, it, I, I was, I, I just never wear it. But I do. This, this was my all-time favorite. I love the, the, the different patches on the shoulders. This, you know, yeah. the, the state of hockey on one and and the stadium series on the other. Uh, I just thought this was so well done, and I was really concerned. I remember thinking about when they were going to do these, and I thought, I hope they don't go crazy and and yeah. really get way far away from what the wild are. And I really thought they did a nice job of doing that in this one that made it, gave it a very different look. And it looked great on the players. The uniforms looked outstanding, um, but it, it, it didn't go way away from what they are. But at the same time, it was very different from what they were. My favorite thing about this whole uniform setup might have been the M on the breezers. Um, yeah. I thought that was a really nice touch. And, and it, it was the first time we had seen the M logo. Obviously, it was from the alternate logo before, but it was isolated to be just the M. Um, and that's turned into a logo that that really kind of works for them and, and now obviously made it to the shoulder patch of the current greens. Um, and, and I would be a little bit surprised if we didn't see that um, as the primary logo to a jersey. Maybe not now knowing yeah. that the North Star colors are going to be involved with a throwback, but maybe Winter Classic, that that is entirely possible. Because I, I, I mocked these up when I made a third jersey article for zone coverage uh, a summer or two ago, two or three summers ago. Um, and and it, what it looks like with just the M in the middle, it looks a lot like the jerseys from Mystery Alaska, uh, which, I thought, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, Maybe a little bit too simple, but again, I think a lot of times simple works, especially when you're in a winter classic and yeah. you know everyone's a bajillion miles away because it's at a baseball stadium and you've got a whole acre before you can see a fan. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see that M show up on the winter classic jerseys in a big way. I, I also would like to give the wild credit for not – giving into the trend that was going on at that time, which was light colored breezers and gloves yes. and not going with like cream breezers and cream gloves. Cause there's nothing worse in, in my mind than light colored gloves and pants. And, and I mean, I think it was the Kings that did like, yes. What, and, sure. and that, Oh, it was just yeah. awful. It, it's just, it hurts your eyes. Cause people <laughs> they, like, they, 
they melt into the ice and then um yeah it was it was really hideous that's the one 2020 there it is yeah they look like diapers <laughs> yes uh, it's, it's like they opened it up to a kid who just got on microsoft paint for the first time when hey can i do this can i do this can i do this fun you know or you made your own jersey in uh, nhl like oh yeah. let's just do this let's make this teal and uh, it was just awful it almost harkens back to the days of Cooperalls where there was no rules. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, so you ended up with a lot of, uh, a lot of colors running. <laughs> yeah, see, child yeah. A lot of colors running those. together with Cooperalls. Um, there was, there wasn't a lot of continuity with the leg or there was too much, almost continuity with the leg colors uh, on the Cooperalls. It, it just looked a little bit weird sometimes. Those are, uh, those are gorgeous. <laughs> those, are, those are hideous. <laughs> yeah, uh, the seventies were not kind of hockey in a lot of ways. No, the only the only jersey that to me that st that stay in the test of time is one of my favorite, and it's not because I'm a fan of their team at all, but it's the Mo the Montreal Canadian Reds. Yeah, are are and I know that sometimes that you know gets some people upset, but their jerseys have almost never changed the Reds, yeah. and they just they're just perfect. And maybe that's why I love the bar across the middle and the bar at the bottom. I'm just such, I love the Montreal Rangers. It's my all time. And again, I'm not a Canadians fan at all, but the Montreal Canadians jerseys, the Reds are my all time favorite in hockey. Yeah, I, I own one. I have a, a Patrick Waugh actually. Oh, it's gorgeous. And it's one of my favorites by far. It's, it's definitely up there on the list and uh, just a tremendous jersey. And the fact that it hasn't changed at all is just awesome. Yeah, and others it, it's perfect because I mean others it, like the Toronto Maple Leafs have kept theirs too, but it's not it, it doesn't do the same thing for me. I don't think the Maple Leafs have really changed their jerseys uh, much over their the years at all. Stripe their arm striping kind of bounced around a little bit, um, but, but they're not. They don't do the same thing for me. Yeah, and then they went to the Leaf logo with the butt at the bottom. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's fun. Oh, well, the noof. There's a name from the past, huh? <laughs> yeah. The pylon. He just kind of faded away quickly. That was but, probably for the better. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that was uh, that was the list. Oh, here's more uh, cream pants for you, Dave. <laughs> oh gosh. The Toronto Leafs. <laughs> and that is a tur that's a turtleneck. Mm -hmm. It is. Could you imagine how hot you'd get playing in a turtleneck? <laughs> oh my God. No thanks. Can you think about how light the jerseys are now and then imagine playing yeah. back in like the 70s when they had wool jerseys. Oh, yeah. They were actually yeah. sweaters. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Uh, and, and the guys now, I mean, like they, they truly do love the Adidas stuff. I, and, I, and I don't think that's just because, you know, they're current. I, the guy, from, from who I have talked to, um, they really, really love everything about the Adidas stuff because it, it holds a little tighter. Um, it just it moves well with them, so I, I think Adidas has done a phenomenal job. Yeah, no, I would agree with that. Um, there's a couple of quibbles, of course, that Giles and I have with what Adidas has done, but uh, for the most part, yeah, when they made that change, it was wildly positive. I mean, there was a lot of teams that went from looking pretty bad to uh, looking respectable again, so that was huge. I just wish they'd go back and put, you know, if if you're gonna do if they if they're listening to this and they pay attention. Do one thing. Please take either do another logo or take the logo and move it back down to the bottom of the jersey. I, I absolutely love that. Yeah. I'd love to see that back again. Yeah. I think that's uh prime real estate though, is is the problem. Yeah, um, absolutely. It it could uh, it could happen maybe someday if jersey ads become a thing. That's exactly what I was gonna say. <laughs> hmm. They'll move they'll move the Adidas when they start putting ads of companies there, which is oh, not really much better. Right. I'm not a fan of that uh, the possibility of that happening at all. I think with the NBA having done it, I think it's all but guaranteed with the NHL. Sure. Um, I, I think you'll probably see it in the form of maybe a shoulder patch. Yeah. I don't know that they would put it on the chest like the NBA has because there's so many captain's patches. And then, uh, you know, they do a lot of like, and playoffs, they put patches on mm -hmm. there. Um, but I, yeah, it, it's coming. And I know the NHL is, for once, the NHL has done a good job at something and they've fought off uh, Jersey ads, but um, it's revenue. That that's going to go on for much longer. That's the truth. I, I agree. I, I could see it. 
I agree. I think shoulder patches and I think um, back, like lower underneath where the numbers are is also another another area of prime real estate, especially when you think about what the low angle camera sees, you're going into the corner, they right. see the backside. That's that's a good that's a good spot to put an ad to. Yeah, I mean, that's how my peewee team did it. Yeah, so. I, the, <laughs> that's how most, I mean, all these high school guys now, and I, I assist and coach on a high school team, the shooters jerseys, that's where they have, we, yeah. we have the we have the numbers and the names, and then the bottom has has the logo, and I think my son's squirt jersey is the same way. Yeah, no, yeah, for me it was squirts. Squirts, and I think we were done with having the sponsor on the jersey at, after, at, at Pee Wee's, so um, can probably rustle one up, but yeah, it's uh, certainly precedent. <laughs> I'm just interested to see who is the sponsor and where they put them because it just could, I mean, it has the potential to be great if, you know, Viagra or Cialis or someone decide to sponsor <laughs> the jerseys. And it, I mean, like it's all, obviously the NHL is going to be selective, at least I hope. Yeah. Well, I think they'll probably lead up to the teams just like the NBA has where it'll probably be local companies out as soon. Right. Um, you'll see the target bullseye on a wild Jersey or something. 3M. Like that. How yeah. about 3Ms? M M M, <laughs> and then the three and the M. It's the Minnesota M. Well, three M's already used to bastardizing hockey things in this town, so why not? Mm mm, Mariucci, yum. <laughs> mm mm mm. Lovely. Yeah. Before we <laughs> dive too much further into uh, ads and uh, the <laughs> second gig as uh, marketing for three M, uh, <laughs> we should uh, we should probably call it a show. Yeah. Um, Dave, before uh, before we go, is there uh, anything you want to want to plug? Uh, well, you'll see me all week uh, this week on uh, Care Eleven News at five, six, uh, just six and ten actually, because I'm I'm anchoring from home, so I'm going to have a different jersey up in the corner every week. And I look forward to. Can we do this again with Gopher hockey jerseys? Because there's some great ones. Oh, that wow. I'm yes, a big fan of. Yeah, that would be a good one. There's a lot of jerseys that I mean that are just beauties. Yeah, yep. you can do a top ten of that and not even really scratch the surface, almost. Yeah, yeah, we can. Uh, we can cover that. Uh, we'll uh, we'll definitely have you back for that because I'm guessing we're probably going to get to that in the very near future. Because uh, <laughs> this goes on any longer. <laughs> we need uh, we need topics. Hey, you and me both, brother. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Uh, so yeah, definitely uh, we will watch uh, the Care Eleven News this week uh, with Dave, and we will. Uh, be sure to note all the different hockey jerseys that uh, corner his uh, his new studio uh, from home. My office. Yeah, I'm actually in it. You can see the camera uh, behind me for my shot tonight. So very exciting. <laughs> actually figured the camera would be a lot bigger, but I guess in 2020, they've slimmed him down a little bit. Actually, it's even better. That is only holding my light because it, I use my phone. So my phone, I have a magnet right here. I stick my phone to it, and then that is the shot. Oh, wow. camera I actually wow. use for, for I, I don't even end up using the camera much. It's a second camera for uh, all these Zoom interviews that I've been doing. But wow. um, yeah, it's all done on the phone now, actually. Wild. It's <laughs> crazy what you can do. Well, we've definitely learned uh, something new on uh, behind the scenes of TV broadcasting. There you go. <laughs> that and where Gretzky's CCM patches yes. were. I've, I'm, yes. I've, it's been a successful night. I can't say I didn't learn anything tonight. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we uh, we thank Dave for uh, for joining us, and uh, of course you can find uh, Ben and I yelling at each other on Twitter at uh, Ben Remington at Giles Farrell, and download, subscribe this show on whatever uh, platform you listen on, and uh, check out our stuff at ZoneCoverage.com. So for Dave, Ben, and myself, uh, thanks to everyone for watching and listening and we will chat with you again later later thank you for listening to another episode of the gill and the goaltender podcast It's not resiliency. You're making it sound like we're good. That's all. I'm done.